Can we ask you, can we ask you for food recommendations here? Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, she ran away. Okay, so now we are in the east and at Temasek Poly because it's the next highest boat. Yeah, and today we have a special guest, Anjali. Whoa! You all realize now she actually appeared in one of our videos before, and the reason why she's here because she was from TP, right? Yeah, I graduated five years ago from TP. Oh hey, my so god! Are you, are you bringing us like good food or not? Yes, but then later close already. How huh? five years ago? <laughs> Okay, so Angie, what's your favorite food to eat here? Okay, I'm gonna recommend this place that I think is quite good. Like, it's the place that I used to work at in school because like what? it's run by students. So what course I were you from? I'm from baking and culinary science. Baking ah, yeah. wow. <laughs> so got like dessert, then got set lunch also. You know, I'm feeling a bit nervous today. Why? Because there are so many students here. Yeah. I think it's like their first day of school, right? Yeah, a lot of students, but I love it. I love the energy here. Oh, he loves being young. You yeah. Know. Look at the crowd over there. So like everyone is queuing for McDonald's. So they have like McDonald's and Subway eh. A lot of people eh. I just want to say right, the vibes here right is so nice. It's very like a lot of greens, like very calming yeah. and very peaceful. So we are over at Bistro Lab. So it's like a place where it's run by students and then it's part of their course. So we learn how to run this place like a central kitchen. But... You know, I really like the concept. It's like Ikea, you know. Yeah. So there's also desserts here for you to choose from and there's quite a lot of selection here. So there's like two different queues. One queue is for the food and another queue is for the dessert. Yeah. I think their menu change every day and today we have the satay chicken, the so and then also mushroom soup or soup of the day. So total is like only $4.50. Cents, eh? And we also like, you know, if we are feeling fancy, you know, we got one dessert. Yeah. Chocolate cake. Yeah, $4.50. This one is a bit expensive. Yeah. It's like same price as our meal. So like total is $9. Okay, so now we're gonna try the satay chicken. Let's try. Mm. It's very quite tender. Very tender eh. And the, I really like the satay sauce. The, I think the recipe is made by the chef one, it's like secret recipe. Okay, so now it's our turn to try and I must say for 4 50 I feel like it's very worth it. This feels like, you know, like the Muji vibe also. Yeah. The Muji cafe vibe. Yeah. Right. Because you see the rice is not white rice, it's those like eight green rice. It's very healthy. And also the environment here is like air conditioned. It feels like the weather now is very, very hot. So with the air conditioned right, I feel like this place is really a good place. Yeah, good vibes. Yeah, good vibes. Okay, we're gonna try the tou miao. This is like grass, eh? It's like grass, right? After a lot of grass, I think they pluck from outside and they cook. <laughs> That's just like that. Okay, so now we're gonna try their dessert. This is chocolate moon. Mousse. Huh? <laughs> What's up? What's moon? Oh, how the picture of moon? moon. <laughs> The name is chocolate moon. <laughs> oh, okay. Then inside got raspberry and crispy plantain. Yeah, and it's dark chocolate. Mmm, very rich. Mm. Very rich. I like the crunch inside. Oh, it's good. Eh. I think last time when I'm working here, right, it's only like two fifty, but now they cheat ya until four fifty already. But it's still worth it, ah. Two fifty. This kind of quality. Yeah. Uh, can we ask you, can we ask you for food recommendations here? Wow, oh, wait, 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 oh my god, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, she ran away, she ran away. Hi. Oh, I know, the business park, uh, Tom Yam Ban Mian. Engine Western auntie is very fierce. <laughs> <laughs> She's very scared now. Likes fierce aunties. Uh, okay. Engineering mala is cheap. Oh, oh yeah, Engine is cheap. Oh, Tempanese hub. I like the ban mian at this park. Yeah, From the flavors, you. you can try the western food because it's quite nice. Triplets. Oh. Your salad. Very nice. Triplets, same. Really? Yeah. <laughs> what about you? Same, same, same. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, so now we are over at Beast Park. Canteen. I think a lot of people recommended their ban mian, right? Yeah. The ban mian, tom yam ban mian. Yeah, so we're gonna go try it. Can you ask you for any like food recommendations? <laughs> salad! The beef salad is so good. I, uh, I like the aglio olio at IT Canteen. Do you have any food recommendation in SP? SP? TP, TP, oh my god! You know the engineering block? The first canteen, the western food. The chicken chop is the best. The ban mian. The ban mian here. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so now we are going to order the salad. So for the salad, right, you can actually choose from like the greens, mains, and also two sides. So just now, two students also recommended ban mian from this place. And they got like different kind of ban mian. So I think we're gonna get like the tom yam one. Wow! 
so good. Smells really good. Yeah. Okay, so we have the Tom Yum Ban Mian here at Business Park and it's recommended by a lot of students eh. So it looks right and smells really good and it's 380. Have you tried before the Ban Mian here? Yeah, I tried before. Actually during my time, this Ban Mian is already very famous. Like a lot of time me and my friend will walk over because I'm from the IT school so we walk over here. I'm gonna try this soup. Mm. Yeah, so the soup right, it's not like the clear kind. So this one is a bit thick. I think because got egg inside. Yeah, it's very yeah. flavorful. So is it still the same? I think it's a bit different. That time I eat the noodle is a bit more chewy. This one is like like without hua, but still nice. But still it's fast, it's not like overcooked already, they're not nice. Okay, next up we're gonna try the salad. So this like, you know, you can mix and match one. You yeah. choose the ingredients that you want. So for this salad, like what Randy said, right, you can like choose your like different vegetables. So you start off with the greens, which is like basic uh, lettuce. Yeah, then one main and two sides. So for sides, we chose like corn and also this like chicken ball, right? Yeah, the auntie say like a lot of students eat this. On first look, it looks pretty good and then it's only like it's only like $4.50. You, you know why it's so hard to talk now? Because it's very, very dry. Yeah, the chicken is actually very dry. The chicken is very weird. It's like not really chicken, it's like vegetarian kind. Eh, yeah, and then like, at first I thought it's like popcorn chicken, a bit like crispy, yeah. but it's not. It's like noa noa. Then the inside is like, it's very, very dry. Yeah, the whole thing, it looks appetizing, but yeah. it's a bit like dry. Yeah, maybe you don't order the chicken, maybe you can order the other things. Yeah. So how many canteens are there in TP? There are like five canteen, like this kind of concept one, and then two is student run one. One is the one that we went just now, and then another one by the business student. Then other than that, right, still got the fast food, McDonald's, Subway, and the new the triplets. Ah. Yeah, so actually there are quite a lot of food options here at TP eh, as compared yeah. to other polis. Yeah, quite a lot, but then it's still very crowded during the lunchtime, even though there's so many canteens. We are now over at Flavors. This is like the only, only aircon canteen in this school. A lot of store close eh. It used to be like a snack store here. It's like so empty eh. See? Mayo la. It used to be like very popular over here because got aircon and then got the two schools over here, the IT and yeah. applied science school. But so many clothes I never yeah. see before this place yeah. like that. But right, luckily we came here, you know why or not? Because right, there's like this abnormal drink and this yeah. is my first time seeing like there's this abnormal drink list where they actually mix different drinks together. So mine is Ben 10, this one is Milo with milk tea. And mine is called R.I.P. Ribena in Peach. So creative eh, yeah. I must say. They say the boss create themselves one, so it's not like a list that is very popular online or something. Okay, let's try. Let's try. Okay, for us, right, we got like not bad. Yeah, so it's Ribena with honey lemon. And you know like all our drinks is like 150 each. Yeah. Okay, let's try. Got two words for you. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're over at the engineering canteen. I think it's the engineering canteen, right? Yeah. Okay, so now we're over at Short Circuit and right now the vibe is really good because it's raining outside. It's yeah. very romantic. Yeah, I think we're stuck here. We cannot go out already. And we have with us the chicken chop, also recommended by a lot of students. Yeah, Western, Western. And right, the queue right for the Western store right is the longest. Yeah. It's really I think busy. Other stores there's like no people. Right? Yeah. So this chicken chop is four dollars and it comes with chicken, fries, fries. and coleslaw. Ben say coleslaw. Okay, so now we're gonna try the chicken chop. It looks pretty good, right? Yeah, it looks not bad. And it's not like very thin slices, it's like quite thick one. Yeah. The sauce mm, tastes like the mashed potato sauce. Mm. So right for four dollars, right? The portion size is okay, I think. Okay, but after trying, right, we realized that the sauce is a bit on the saltier side. I think if you have some rice at the side, it will be better. Yeah, so, I agree. Yeah, on its own, it's a bit salty. Okay, I tried the cro close. <laughs> <laughs> I also cannot run out. Coleslaw. I think not bad, it's crunchy and a bit like the KFC. Yeah, and it's not like soggy and wet. You know, sometimes we eat coleslaw are very soggy. Then it tastes really bad, but it's not good. Crunchy, the vegetable tastes very fresh. The fries taste very normal, but at least the fries is hot. I think most important when you eat fries, like, you must, the fries must be hot. Okay, so overall for $4, right, I think this is pretty good for like if you're a student, you're craving for some like fried food, this is really good. Yeah, I think usually when we eat Western food outside, it's around like $5.50 or $6.90. So this one $4.50 is quite worth it. Okay, so now we're over at Designer Pet. You know, it sounds very like atas, right? Yeah. But they only got like four stores eh. Dreams, Japanese, Western, and the Nasi Pada. Yeah, so we are gonna try the Nasi Pada. Yeah, because one of the students recommended this. Okay, so this is the Nasi Padang, and 
I don't know, is it like she don't like us or what? It's only one piece of meat. Eh? I never seen people give one piece of meat before. Okay, but they recommend should be not bad. Lah. Okay, so this nasi padang is four fifty. So it comes with meat, rice. This is what? Lah? Tempeh. And also ota. Rachel, you got scolded again. Nah, I never think you take take out, take out. Okay, I will try this precious piece of meat. <laughs> Nice, huh? No, it's nice. Can, can scold me a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> so the sauce, right, for the the sauce for the rice is also very nice. Eh. Mm. This is so good. The curry is like a bit like um sour type. It's not yeah. a very spicy one. It's a bit like asam. You need asam. Yeah, 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 yeah. I really like the mm. curry with the rice. Yeah. And the chili sauce, right, is also very good. I'm gonna try the tempeh now. So it's like very fragrant and like mm. a bit la la and very nice. Mm. I tried the meat already. Mm. It's good there. Okay, now we're gonna try. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> the food is good. Oh, even the gravy for the rice, mm. right? The curry yeah. is good. The curry is nice, all. Yeah, I think you all should ask her to put more gravy. Right. For the otta, right? The otta is not bad. It's not too spicy. Because sometimes mm. I eat otta, right? It's very spicy. Yeah. It's very overwhelming. This one is not spicy. Over everything is nice. So as you guys know, every time we visit a poly, right, we need to try their ice milo. Yeah. And of course, right, if we try ice milo, who should we ask to try? Ben. Huh? <laughs> yeah, because I love ice milo. So far, right, my favorite one was RP. So I feel like, yeah, I feel like RP has the best ice milo so far. So let's see if TP can beat RP, okay? Let's try. So compared to RP right, I feel like RP still win. This one is like too diluted already and like diluted but sweet. So like there's no um, Milo taste. Okay, so I have to ask my assistant Rachel to try it. <laughs> there's no Milo taste right? Yeah, it's just very sweet and like water. So like sweet water. Sweet water? <laughs> yeah, water. Yeah. Sorry, this one right, you know NYP is my least favorite Milo. This one. Bottom. More least. Lisa. <laughs> Lisa. Less. Lisa. 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 Okay, so it's the end of the day. Yay. Really sad, right? Yeah. Because I don't want Angeline to leave us. <laughs> okay, so which is your favorite so far? Like trying all the food that students recommend. Actually, TP really got a lot of good food, right? Yeah. But I got one favorite. It's very unexpected. It's the satay chicken. Oh. No, no. Oh, the first yeah. one. For me, I like the tom yam pan mian. I'm, I don't really eat tom yam often, but the pan mian is so good. My favorite is actually the nasi padang over there, especially the beef. You no, know, for me, right, I'm really hard to choose eh, because like almost like all the places that we tried, right, the food is really quite good. Oh my god, I so love like everything. I like, love like Wei. TP rocks really <laughs> because like all the food here is really good, and the students here, right, they are super friendly as well. Okay, so we are done with all the polytechnics in Singapore. So wow. now we're gonna be moving on to like universities and ITEs. Yeah. So leave it down in the comment, comment box and vote. So the highest vote will be visiting it next. Okay, so thank you guys for watching and thank you Angeline for joining Yay. us. Thank you for having me. Remember to subscribe to us, click on the notification bell button so you get notified when we upload new videos. And don't forget to follow us on our Instagram, TikTok and Telegram group. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye.